which areas do you think, God, we might get disrupted here? We started using it in March. Within something like four or five months, AI was answering 70% of customer queries. And those customers were happier than the customers who were not using AI. Now, what you really want is you want AI removing all the friction, making it seamless, making a great customer experience, and then the human, the actual customer agent bit sitting on top of it, where actually it makes their job a million times better. They can be the sprinkles of magic for customers where they come out as massive apostles going, oh my God, that's been amazing. But actually just the processing power and the ability to systemize some of this stuff is just frightening. And if you have a business which is fundamentally a technology business, so Kraken, the platform that's built, that runs ours, it runs Eon, it runs EDF, it runs Tokyo Gas, Origin Energy, great big firms, 70 million accounts, that's how it operates. So AI is at its heart and it will continue to do that, not just in the energy industry, it's doing it in the water industry now, we'll do it in other industries going forward. And you know, Kraken now, I think, processes about 2% of entire UK GDP. The scale of it is enormous.